<laughs> Welcome back to CBS 2 News at 9 a.m. So, John, we have to tell everybody what we've been doing. It okay. is time for our furry friend finder when we help a four legged friend find a forever home. Sandra DeFeo, so good to see you. The executive director of the Humane Society of New York joins us this morning. Who do we have here? Well, this is Sadie. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and we were kind of laughing because when she sees herself, she started to. You know, speak growl. growl. But <laughs> she's a afraid of dogs. Why she's afraid of dogs. Yes, yeah, she was a victim of a very bad Ooh. attack. Don't look. <laughs> and it's um, hilarious. She's, she's seeing, seeing herself on the have, monitors. There's like six monitors, and she sees this massive dog <laughs> that is her, and that's why she's a little upset. Yeah, oh, but she's very loving, so very sweet, yeah. and she's great with people. Yeah. She's a Yorkie Poo, seven and a half years old. She weighs 15 pounds. So and Yorkie again, Poo, she is, yes. she's got a great coat. Yep. They don't shed. There's Perfect. very little dander. Mm -hmm. And Yorkie and Pooh, both very smart dogs, very too, smart. right? Mm hmm. And she's going to live a nice, good, long life yeah, now. Yeah, really well behaved. I, I got some kisses from yeah. Sadie. She loves you know, to it's give really, kisses. Really so sweet. You know, Sandra, I just wanted to update everyone. We have an update on oh. um, Harry. Yeah, Harry. So, long haired black Persian cat mm -hmm. now goes by Hagrid, mm -hmm. <laughs> named after the famous Harry Potter character. How sweet. John, right? That's a Hagrid now lives with Paris and her husband on the Upper West Side. They say Hagrid was just everything they hoped for. Just friendly, inquisitive, funny, very sociable. So it was just really nice to be able to update everyone. Yes. <laughs> now, I believe, may I, I think this speaks to her intelligence. Yeah. Because she's so smart, she's seeing these dogs. When I was sitting back there with her, she was like leaning into me. She was just ready to watch TV. Yeah. She would be good as long as there aren't any other dogs in the house. Absolutely. And then kids would be fine. Fine. Be fine she loves kids. kids too. She loves uh, everybody. She's a people dog. Oh, so sweet. Well, That's why I think your mission fun. is so important because you know how to make the perfect connection. Love match. Yeah, it's um, important. Love match. Coming to CBS <laughs> this fall. So what is your advice for somebody like Sadie, though? To, you know, how, how could a family handle it best? <laughs> Cover her eyes when she sees another Well, dog. they would have to watch uh, shows without dogs in yeah. them. Yeah. Yeah. No <laughs> <laughs> um, and um, but otherwise, as I say, maybe a quieter neighborhood where there aren't a lot of dogs yeah. around. And no low mirrors so yeah. she can see herself. Mm. I know that my dog actually at night when she could see the reflection in like our glass door, she sometimes growls yeah, at sure, herself too. Sure. She won't so attack a dog, yeah. but she won't. I she doesn't. Kind of. Calm she's it. afraid of them. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Right. But then again, we don't give them enough credit for the emotional intelligence yes. they have. And she's afraid. We adopted a dog that had been abused, and there were things you have to do with that. And they can overcome this. Boy, she sees herself, and she does not like I herself. Keep trying. It's like right. me in the morning in the Sadie, mirror. Sadie, you'd love yourself, really. You're just so sweet. You know? I love you. I love Mary. Oh, kiss, kiss, I love you. Oh, I love you. Oh, kiss, kiss, kiss. Oh, we're really enjoying Sadie today. Thank you so much. For more information on Furry Friend Finder, head to our website. We need to find her a home, everyone. Oh, yes. Go to CBSNewYork.com. You'll get much more information. Sadie, you're just the cutest. We'll be right back.